First of all, let's recap how to convert an Open Word document to PDF. Here's a rather strange looking document. However, it will make some sense in the coming demonstrations. Let's open it, then bring up the print menu with Control P and choose Adobe PDF. If you are doing this away from school and don't have Adobe on your computer, then there are a number of free downloads which will allow you to convert to PDF. Qt PDF is one of them. We need to choose where to place the PDF and to name the file. Let's close the open documents, go to Windows Explorer and see what we've got. Navigating back and forth places the new document under the word version. We will delete this file now so I can show you another way to convert a Word document to PDF without having the Word document open. We can right click on the file and choose Convert to Adobe PDF. Note that the destination folder is the same folder which holds the Word document. The PDF opens automatically but I'll close that and there's the file. OK, so what if you have multiple files that you want to convert to PDF, like the remaining three files here? Well, simple. Just highlight all three files, right click, and again choose Convert to Adobe PDF. Note that you have to instigate the save each time. Navigating back and forth in Windows Explorer lines the files up in order. So that is how to convert documents into PDFs. What if we want to combine several PDFs into one? This is very simple to do. In this demonstration, we'll combine two separate PDFs into one. Combining more than two uses the same procedure. Here are the two documents. One is a very pretty little title page, and the other has four pages to combine. Simply click the Combine button at the top of either document, then merge files into a single PDF. The document we are in appears in the pane. Then click Add Files, Add Files again, navigate to the Destination folder and select the other file to be combined, in this case the title. Now we need to put these in order because the title is best utilised if it doesn't appear at the end of the document. With the title highlighted, we select Move Up, and now the order is correct. Finally, click Combine Files, name the file, and click Save. Close these, and let's see what we've got. There it is. Open it. Uh, yes, the stunning title page and the rest of the document. Obviously, this file is just for a demonstration. But hopefully you can see how powerful this option is for all sorts of purposes. OK, one step further. What if we wanted to combine selected pages from multiple documents into one PDF? Now that would be cool. Well, this is also very simple. Let's open these two documents that are called mixed pages. One has black print, the other has red print, just so we can see this feature at work. Firstly, open all the documents you wish to combine pages from. In our case, we want to combine pages 3 and 4 from the black document and pages 2 and 4 from the red document. But we want the red pages to appear first. In other words, for our example, we are selecting the pages on which is written Combine with this page. Again, click Combine and merge files into a single PDF. With the first document highlighted in the window, select Choose Pages. We wanted pages 2 and 4 from this one, so enter this into the Pages bar and click OK. Now to add the other file as before, select the file, press Add Files. With that file selected, follow the same procedure as before to select specific pages. This time we want 3 and 4 and press OK. I'm going to rename the file.
I'll call it 2434 for obvious reasons and then click Save. Again, close these files to see what we've got. And there it is. Let's have a look. Obviously, this process will not reorder the page numbers, but that's a minor issue. One final thing. If you wanted to combine two Word documents into one PDF, that is also possible. We'll use the previous example of a title page placed before another document. Of course, in real life, you would usually insert the title page into the other Word document first and then convert to PDF. But this demonstration will simply show you that combining Word docs into one PDF is possible. Highlighting one of the files, right click, select Combine for Supported Files in Acrobat Reader, and the familiar looking window appears. Then add the second file as previously demonstrated. Reorder the files as before, then combine files. Rename and save. And let's have a look. Yes, there it is again. Note that other files, for example Excel files, can be converted to PDF using similar procedures. Thus endeth the lesson of combining PDF's advanced version.